And I say as you begin to look toward the future and manifesting your greatness, it's going to take everything in you, everything in you, that your life deserves the concentrated effort to begin to look at how is it that I can express more of me? How is it that I can bring my ideas out here now? How is it? And start living with a sense of urgency because you're here today. You're gone today. Life is unpredictable. It's uncertain. There are no guarantees. No guarantees out here at all. So holding back, what are you waiting on? Ask yourself, what's the benefit of your waiting? What's the benefit of you're not living your dream? What's the benefit of not listening to yourself? Oh, please, listen to yourself. You know the feelings, if you start listening to the feelings in your heart, and I'm doing it now for every day, I find that my feelings, I can trust them. And I say to you, that as you look toward the future, you look at life on a daily basis, if there's something that you have been given, if you've heard something within yourself that you know that, that what you're doing now doesn't fit for you, it doesn't work for you, it's not giving you what you want, and there's something else that you want to do, don't allow that inner doubt in you to talk you out of it. To build a case on why you can't have it. To tell you why you're not good enough. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Don't determine what you're able to do based upon your resources. Don't determine what's possible for you based upon where your life is right now. Where your life is right now is not you. That's just what it is right now. But the possibilities for you are unlimited. If you're in a rebuilding process, it's unlimited. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. That's the capacity of human beings. It doesn't matter how many mistakes you've made. It doesn't matter how many flops you've had. It doesn't matter how much money you've lost. In fact, I see it only as an investment of what you learn from life. Not losses, but investments of what's possible for you. And I say to you that once you start listening to yourself and as you begin to act on your dream, as you start just trying to find your way, doing what you can with what you have, you will start seeing things opening up for you. You'll start attracting people. You say, where did it come from? Things will start coming together, clicking for you. You say, whoa. You start brainstorming. Ideas will come out of nowhere as you focus on them. The key to it is to begin to focus on what it is you want to do. Why, Les? Why is that important? Because as you focus on that which you want to do, that which we focus on, that which we give our energy to, it will begin to multiply. It will begin to expand. It will begin to develop your consciousness. And out of that comes your greatness. Out of that comes a commitment. Out of that comes a passion for life. Out of that comes a special power that you have in you that you haven't even called on yet. See, the, the powers that we have will never reveal themselves if we don't challenge them. If we don't put ourselves in a position where we have to use them. So one of the most important things is reading a book that's a really interesting book called Instant Millionaire. And the guy said, put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. Where it's do or die, sink or swim. 